slight. The crew's concerned on what's going on and we cannot dispatch this airplane until that maintenance light is extinguished. We're going to first determine what is causing this using the onboard maintenance system. On the MFD selector panel, we're going to press the system button. That will activate a menu selection for maintenance. We will use the selector knob to select maintenance. At this point, it will tell us under status what is causing the maintenance light. In this case, as we can see, it's the yaw damper system. Now we need to go a little bit further on this to get some codes to give to maintenance control. So we're going to scroll over to onboard maintenance and we're going to press our button and we're going to scroll down to line maintenance, which is, then we're going to select line maintenance. Then we're going to look at existing flight deck effects. Now from this, we have two numbers we're concerned with. We have a fault code number, that is the code that is driving the maintenance light up on the P5 overhead. And as we can see, it is active. That means it's an active fault. The next message is the maintenance message, 2221-001. That is your maintenance message and it's active and it relates to the stall management. To MEL this system, that's all we need at this point in time from the uh, onboard maintenance system. Okay, go on back. Now, once we look up the MEL, and when we look up the MEL for this yaw damper, it's going to give me some special procedures. Okay, so to get to the MEL on the iPad, we'll go to my Boeing fleet, and we'll select uh, airline author documents, and from there we'll select the minimum equipment list for the max. So we'll select that and then we can go to the minimum equipment list. I'll select that and we can go to the uh, status level messages and from there the cross-reference list and we can see this indicates all of the the faults that will cause a status message that will turn the maintenance light on. So we can go to the yaw damper and you can see that there's two MELs for the yaw damper. One for the yaw damper function and one for the light. So we're going to select the yaw damper function and it spells out uh, what we have to do. Uh, so we, it gives us SP1A, which is uh, downgrading the airplane to Cat 1 status. It gives us SP4, which inhibits the maintenance light. And there's also some placarding requirements, which will lead us to SP1, which is a placard for the switch, and 1B is a placard on the forward panel. And what we're concerned with at this point in time uh, with the onboard maintenance system is your special procedure 4 of, uh, and your special procedure 1A. So to complete Special Procedures 4, we're going to go to the um, Maintenance Control Pages, press the selector, come down to Maintenance Light, and you'll see it says, hey, the yaw damper is causing the maintenance light. We know that. We want to have the onboard maintenance system ignore the yaw, failed yaw damper, so check the block. Scroll down with your knob, check the block. Now go back to maintenance control pages. It's a good habit to double check the maintenance light again, make sure it's checked. Scroll down to maintenance light. And it is checked, so we were pretty solid on that. Go back, uh, click your select button for maintenance control pages, and we'll take care of SP1A. Uh, go to miscellaneous system controls, press the button, come down to the landing placard selection and select cat one and verify cat one displays on the outboard captain's display unit now you have successfully MEL the yaw damper the maintenance light is out we can dispatch this airplane how's that